Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is just with me, YouTube at College Bestie. If it's your first time here, honey, welcome to the club. If you're a returning subscriber, honey, thank you for coming back. Really appreciate it. And if you're if it's your first time, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, and don't forget to like this video because today I'm not coming with a vlog. We're just gonna be talking. Cool. So as you saw by the title, um, I'll be telling you why Nated is being faced out because as a Nated student, I am also affected by this. So yeah, your Tivet College bestie is here to talk to you about it. Okay, I hope you have your pens ready or you just sit down, give me an ear and get informed. Okay, this information that I have here, I did in my research so that you don't have to. I'm helping you out. So I got it from different um, sources. People who are informed. The internet of course. Reading government. The, the, is it the government gazette. But yes. We, we have backed up information here. So let me take off these glasses. Because this is this is just a conversation. This, we, we, me and you. We just, we just chatting. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yes. So first of all what what is a nated or l l let's break it down what does nated stand for so pardon me if i'll be looking down because i have my notes here with me and i can't like have that information all of it in my head hey we are we are young we are stressed and we have many things to be uh, okay shall so NATED stands for National Accredited Technical Education Diploma. N National Accredited Technical Education Diploma. The NATED. So, um, with that said, what what happens with the NATED program is that you firstly learn your theory in class and then after learning you after completing your n6 that's when you will go to um to the field that's when you will go to do your apprenticeship learnership to gain your hands-on skills and it's a very um, daunting process you need to hunt for them if the school is not providing those and many people have faced that challenge but we will talk about it as we get into the problems of why needed is being phased out <sighs> so the main issue is that um there's been a according to research according to the stats the, there's a mismatch between a mismatch of skills and the um, what's what's and low skill equilibrium I don't know if that makes sense, but what it means in simple terms is that the demand and supply of skills is very low. Hence, they decided that, okay, we need to reform our educational system or, yeah, or, yeah, this highlight um, showed that there's a need for an educational reform. We need to change things around wherein the Nord has been introduced national occupation diploma or occupational certificate program however you're gonna whatever feels comfortable for you but let's call it the nod so we'll get to the nod as to what the nod is and what the nod brings to the table but firstly let's come to the problems that were discovered okay now number one needed is outdated needed outdated Take me to studio, guys. <laughs> okay, okay, on a serious note, NATED is outdated. The curriculum that's being used um, for our NATED program is it's outdated. Things are no longer matching what's going on now or not matching the direction where the South African economy needs to go. Another issue why it's being faced out with us is that. Um, it's not aligning with our industry. The industry is going somewhere. Needed program is teaching us to go somewhere. Does it make sense? 
<laughs> I don't I don't know how to put it in simpler terms but yeah the what we're being taught in needed is not aligning with um the current situation now or the current thing is that are going on the current direction which our South African government is going to another thing is that they need to improve the quality of training they want to improve the improve the quality of training so since most uh, we spend most of our time uh, in class or um, like okay we spend uh, let's say n4 n5 n6 that's three months three six nine nine months of learning without failing right and then after the nine months you will go out and then look for apprenticeships right that alone is a daunting process you as most people are not lucky most people are not fortunate it's killing them most people end up um not um being trained i don't even know how to say it but people are not being trained trained properly or they're not being trained trained in a way that is good so when they are removing this native they want to improve on that that when you learn today tomorrow you are playing it practically so hands-on unlike with native you are learning it for nine months some of the things you will forget of course and then you're going to go to the real world and now you're not the quality that they need so they want to make sure that they're producing quality quality materials quality things you get <laughs> okay so um, I, another thing about this is that um due to the standards of the qcto yes the qcto is like nature is not meeting our standards there's the the, the and we have high standards nature is producing people that are not what we want for this economy for the future of our country so we want to improve the standards and improving this uh, the the qcto stands for quality council for trades and occupation so yeah then they're removing nature of course to replace it with the nod we've already spoken about this one and we will get into details about this one okay so yeah uh, another thing that we can talk about is your last chance to enroll in them in this needed so what i heard was that 2026 is the final year for you to enroll but i did a little bo- a bit more research and this is what i found i will just post the, the timeline here everything will be here as for your the last intake for n for engineering studies and the last intake for business studies but yeah i hope everything is visible okay so yeah that's what i um i came across and another thing that i stumbled across that according to the d had um the last chance for intake as the 30th of june 2026 with that one i'm not quite sure but just keep the date in mind now let's get into the gist of the matter as to what is the nod okay national occupational programs so about this nod as that it's going to be industry relevant you will be learning things which are needed the industry is thirsting for that's a very good thing though um okay they say that it has been developed by the industry stakeholders um and be and they say that the current curriculum will be reflecting the current trends technologies and job relevance see why they um taking out needed because the nod is going to be bringing you something better something that's really really required in the industry another thing it's going to improve graduates employability many people are graduating and then after graduating they're sitting down with their um, qualifications and the nod is trying to 
stop that once you graduate your employability chances are going to be very high because you have what the industry needs another thing is the modular structure i didn't quite understand this if somebody understands this please do comment please tell us more about it they're saying that the modular um in nature its nature it's very good and it allows students to acquire skills incrementally and customize their learning paths based on their interests and career goals so what i understand i think you get to choose what you want to do yeah you you have an option to choose what you would like to pursue while you're in the course so yeah maybe with knitted it's very limited if you're doing um engineering electrical engineering you're stuck or you are obligated to be an electrical engineer but with this occupational program programs i believe that you're going to be given an opportunity to choose what you want to do within the electrical um field electrical engineering field i am not quite sure about that you are more than welcome to correct me or to do more research and find out as to what goes on with it and another thing is that um this nose or occupational programs they are um nationally recognized uh, the occupational uh, certificates are nationally recognized so the saka will recognize them so you won't be having a certificate which is useless and i think they're going to take a shorter time than they needed to complete still i'm not quite sure you are more than welcome to confirm that <laughs> and uh, okay another thing is that the nod it is um it incorporates work and learning it is work integrated it has work integrated learning it incorporates incorporate uh, the work integrated components like internship apprenticeship or simulated working um, experiences which is something that we do not have in native so Here's the kicker, the final, final point that I wanted to say out to you all is that if you're currently um, doing your native, they say that you must apply for your national diploma before June 2026 or 2029. I'm not quite sure. I forgot <laughs> but yeah you need to apply for your national diploma before these um, programs are officially officially done 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 with so yeah that's it from me youtube at college bestie thank you for watching until the end so yeah you still have a chance to apply and come and do the natives you're more than welcome to come here it's not easy if you're my tiktok follower you know that i talk about how difficult it is so yeah next time i'll be telling you the best tips and tricks to use so that you can study the ones that are working for me but remember it's not a one size fits all what works for me might not work for you but it will be awesome for me not to get keep such information so yes thank you for watching till the end don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and do comment and Bye. And I've heard of a love that comes once in a lifetime, and I'm.